Hi, kids. Today we will learn what are the effects of water pollution. So let's get started. Water pollution has some very serious effects on nature and all living things. Let's learn a few of the major effects of water pollution. Water pollution causes death of fish and many other aquatic animals, as polluted water has toxic substances that are harmful for aquatic life. Moreover, the waste that comes from factories also increases the temperature of water in water bodies, which is called thermal pollution. An increased temperature reduces the amount of oxygen in water because of which the amount of aquatic life in a water body reduces. Drinking polluted water can cause diseases like cholera, typhoid, diarrhea, hepatitis A, lead poisoning, malaria, polio, fluorosis, intestinal worms, and many more. The consumption of highly contaminated water can cause injury to the heart and kidneys. Toxins within water can harm aquatic organisms, thus breaking a link in the food chain. Urea, animal manure, vegetable peelings are food for algae. And polluted water has all these things. So, algae grows according to how much waste is there in the water source, and algae reduces the amount of oxygen in the water. This decreased oxygen causes harm to other organisms living in the water. Birds that get into oil-contaminated water die from exposure to cold water and air due to feather damage. Other animals, too, are affected when they eat dead fish in contaminated streams. Oil spills occur if oil tanker ships are not properly built to survive accidents at sea. The oil spills devastate ecosystem and also affects tourism. Oil spills affects the coastal community rather than the people responsible for the oil spill. Disposal of sewage waste in water bodies affects us all, as it pollutes the water in water bodies, and people who bathe or surf in such waters may fall ill. It poisons the shellfish that grows near the shores, and people who eat the poisoned shellfish may fall sick or even die. Aquifers feed our rivers and supply much of our drinking water they too can become polluted, as all the chemicals added to the crops as fertilizers, weedicides, insecticides reach the groundwater through seepage. Groundwater pollution is much less obvious than surface water pollution, but is no less of a problem. So kids, polluting environment reduces the quality of our life and we should take every step to prevent the pollution of air or water. Now let's see how we can stop or prevent water pollution. It's not easy to prevent or stop water pollution. We need to take several steps in different spheres. Let's learn a few steps that can be taken to prevent water pollution. Making people aware of the problem, that is, Educating people about the water pollution and its effects is the first step towards solving it, as greater public awareness can make a positive difference. Making laws to prevent water pollution. All countries should make strict laws that will prevent pollution. For example, Sewage waste should not be allowed to drain into water bodies without their treatment. All the sewage drains should first lead to treatment plants. Sewage water is treated to make it free from contaminants. And then only 
it should be discharged into any water body. Water pollution has transboundary nature. That is, waste discharge by one country may affect the other countries also. As big water bodies like seas and oceans are common, they don't belong to any particular country. So laws are required to be made on international or continent level. Now let's learn some economic measures to prevent and reduce water pollution. Most environmental experts agree that the best way to tackle pollution is through something called the polluter pays principle. This means that whoever causes pollution should have to pay to clean it up one way or another. Example, tanker owners should be responsible for the cost of oil spill cleanups. Shoppers should have to pay for the plastic grocery bags to encourage recycling and minimize the use of plastic bags. No factory should be allowed to discharge its waste directly into the river or any water body without treating the wastewater. That is, without removing the harmful substances from it. Now, let's learn what can be the individual approach to reduce pollution. That is, what steps can we take to reduce water pollution? We should use environment-friendly detergents. We should not pour oil in wastewater drains. We should reduce the use of pesticides, weedicides, and fertilizers in farming areas. We should not pour household cleaning products like paint, motor oil, cleaning solvents, ammonia, pool chemicals in the drains as we know drains too ultimately leads to the water bodies. Never flush any medicines in toilets. Use as less chemicals as possible in your garden. Actions can be taken at community level too, like cleaning out beaches through litter pick programs. Just picking up waste and litter wherever it is spotted can be very useful in keeping debris and pollutants out of the water. Avoid plastics when possible as plastic bags in oceans and seas is a major pollutant. So kids, through these small steps, we can make a big difference and make our world a better place to live. So kids, today we learned what are the effects of water pollution and what are the steps to prevent water pollution. Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye!